And the CMS, as the governor's announcement, gives the school board the options when to bring students back. Fox 46's Robin Kennedy continues our live team coverage tonight with a reaction from parents. Brian, pre-K students are heading back to class in CMS starting next month. Some of the board members think students should be back sooner. As for parents, they also have some different thoughts on the issue. I'm happy that he's going back to school, yet I am fearful as well because of the coronavirus and hoping and praying that he does not get it. Mixed emotions from Marissa Glanton. Her son, Deshaun, is a seventh grader at Northridge Middle School in CMS. At first, remote learning was a struggle for Deshaun, who has autism. But now he has a personal aide, and his mom says he's doing better. So she's not exactly sure how she feels now that the CMS board has approved a plan for students to begin returning in phases for a mix of in-person and continued remote learning over the next several months. I hope that the kids are okay with wearing their masks in school and staying as apart as much as they can. Um, so we'll have to see what happens. The board approved a plan Wednesday night to begin with the return of pre-K students on October 12th. Kindergarten through fifth graders will return for a combination of in-person and remote learning on November 2nd. Sixth through eighth grade on November 23rd and ninth through 12th grades on December 14th. I think that a lot of people are going to be very happy with that decision because they do want their kids back in school. I also think a lot of people are going to be very frustrated because of the timeline that they have implemented. Kristen Aquino has two sixth graders, twins Taylor and Casey at J.M. Robinson Middle School. It takes a lot of work to get that many kids back into a building. They've, they've got to have time to organize what the teacher structure looks like. They've got to make sure that they have enough bus drivers. Now, five CMS parents have filed a lawsuit against the district. The suit claims CMS leaders did not think about the health and education of students and that they're violating the North Carolina Constitution by not allowing kids back inside the classroom. Tonight at 6, I'll have reaction from one of those parents on the district's new decision to now move forward with reopening. Live in the newsroom, Robin Kennedy, Fox 46, getting results. Thank you, Robin.